Good evening, dear friends and colleagues. Welcome to this birthday party. Well, que la fête commence. Because indeed, yes, this is the 10th edition of the ECMI conferences. Paddy Ashton, a former British MP, once said, in this modern age where everything is connected to everything, the most important thing about what you can do is what you can do with others. So welcome to this ECMI network event. But perhaps there are more primitive reasons as well. Why in this digital world we feel the need to flock together like this? Maybe it has to do with our basic instinct, a kind of compelling urge to go sniffing at each other. So welcome to the Antwerp Zoo as well. There's yet another human urge, and this is to change looks from time to time. And after 25 years, almost 25 years, FESME has its facelift. We searched for our soul again. We had a survey amongst the members. We talked with a lot of people outside the platform. And this led to a new vision, mission, and value statement. Building upon the visionary ideas of the FESME pioneers. So ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the phenotypical expression of this statement. Welcome to the new FESME logo. And as we speak, the new website FESME.eu is launched as well. I know it's bad to cut trees, but the tropical tree just not was entirely representative anymore in the light of global health and SDGs. This logo stands for what ESME aims to be in future. At the heart of it, you see a round circle referring to global health, including tropical medicine and research, and also a round table of dialogue and collaboration. And within the circle, many lines referring to the rich diversity of the FESME members of different ages, different professions, and different countries. Just look at the diversity in this hall. But that doesn't automatically imply we interact with our colleagues beyond our immediate scope. We, might, we may live next to one another. Tolerance, it's not the same as pluralism. Therefore, I challenge you, can each of us in this conference pick at least one session which is beyond her or his immediate scope? Turning back to the logo, you see it's open, the circle is open because FESME aims at being inclusive, open to other actors and networks to collaborate with. And you may see the circle also as the rippling of water, because FESME wants to contribute to change, change to global health in collaboration with other institutes, other actors, other networks. And you can also see the circle as a maze. Everyone knows the little plastic game where you have to search the ball in the middle. Well, this kind of maze, referring to research from state-of-the-art to local action research. And finally, a text balloon for dialogue. Cynics may say it's blah, 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 of course. But just look at, look at Catalonia. It reveals the importance of talking to each other. But of course, all of that is but a logo. It's up to us all to turn this into something real. And now talking about something real, I want to show you something, a real picture. Some of you may recall the documentary Cosmos of Carl Sagan in the 80s. At one point, Carl Sagan uh, talks about uh, a picture, this picture. It's a picture of the Earth at a distance of six billion kilometers taken by Voyager 1 when passing Saturn. And Sagan calls it a pale blue dot. It's far less spectacular and far less well-known than the well-known picture Earthrise. But it demonstrates so well the relativity of things and our fragility. So let's have a look to a small movie. From this distant vantage point, the Earth 
might not seem of any particular interest. But for us, it's different. Consider again that dot. That's here. That's home. That's us. On it, everyone you love, everyone you know, everyone you ever heard of, every human being who ever was, lived out their lives. The aggregate of our joy and suffering, thousands of confident religions, ideologies, and economic doctrines, every hunter and forager, every hero and coward, every creator and destroyer of civilization, every king and peasant, every young couple in love, every mother and father, hopeful child, inventor and explorer, every teacher of morals, every corrupt politician, every superstar, every supreme leader, every saint and sinner in the history of our species lived there on the mote of dust suspended in a sunbeam. Dear friends and colleagues, we have a responsibility. How can this conference, despite its huge ecological footprint, contribute to make our world, this mote of dust suspended in the sunbeam, a better place? And just one thing more. If during this conference you don't find the right answers to your questions, I at least hope you find the right questions to your answers. I wish you a very interesting learning experience and a lot of pleasant sniffing to each other. Thank you. <laughs>